Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 370 of Factorio with the Z-Block mod, where we have been spending some time doing some well, maintenance and stuff. We are producing a lot more tin now than we were, which will be useful for a lot more basic electronic components, which is our next stop, because we need more of those for everything from advanced circuits to more advanced circuits than that, advanced processing units and stuff. So that is what we're going to work on now. If I don't get distracted at least. Uh, transistors... Here we are. Now, did I design this with upgrades in mind? I know or remember that we recently just upgraded all of these for purple ones instead of red ones. But having red belts coming in means that they are not really producing that much faster. In any case, we need to upgrade all of this. Are these set up correctly? It looks like it. Well, we should definitely get our train down here, because this will not last with us just replacing everything. We will run out very soon of belt and stuff. How do we have this on the bottom side of... Oh, because they're not mirrored. Okay, never mind that. I can live with that part. I'll try to just updating the minimum... Oh, there. Yeah, the minimum, minimum misnote. Why would I do that? Why not just upgrade everything? In here, at least. Now, I do need to find out how many of these machines we need to make a full purple belt. If we need to upgrade or build more or what we need. Uh, these guys. A purple belt is 60. Four purple belts is 240, eight purple belts is 560. Wait, what? No. Four is 240, then it's just 480. <laughs> Math is hard. And we're doing this locally, I believe, from that. And we need those. Why was that applied to this, but not this? I'm not sure. Does it matter? Probably not. So 48. No. What? A lot less with beacons. What? Has our train arrived yet? Yes. Good. Give me... Oh, you don't even have purple underground, do you? A little bit. That sucks. I was also lacking purple and blue underground stuff two episodes ago, so I'm not sure I just want to upgrade everything to purple yet. Though we're looking okay at the moment. That's, that means we don't have any blue stuff. 
I don't really feel like doing that upgrade right now. Or that update. So I guess we should just go back for Purple Underground manually. Dang it. Anything else we should grab? We have purple splitters, plenty of those. Should have plenty belt, maybe we'll bring a bit more. If we need to well, expand even more. Which again, we do need a lot of basic electronic components. Give me some stuff, please. Something like that. Do we need landfill if we need to expand? Not really, we can have that set up again. But then what if we wanted it four times? I'm just dreaming, but who knows. Also, if we only need 13 machines to do eight builds. Is my math bad? 8 by 60. No, it's not. We're actually running out of landfill, surprisingly. Did I take the plane? Nope. Anything else? No, not that I remember. We should maybe get rid of this stuff. Good. Can we queue some more deconstruction? Not really. Because these are filled with slack. Great. That is what's taking all of that time. Why it's so slow. So we have one of these for every two of those. That's quite a waste. Sort of feel like designing something new, but on the other hand... Do we need to? Need more cover into these belts. So upgrading the belts would help, of course. I'm pretty close here though. This one just requires more cover. Yeah. Do we have purple builders? Yes, good. just bring these in two tiles instead.
now in X10. So we should have quit that. Shouldn't really need to do this, but let's just do it anyway. We're here. Good thing we brought a lot of belt. Backing down here since there's nothing coming out. Will we just low at the end? I guess so. It is coming now. So two out of five machines here yeah, are the ones we actually need. Two out of eighty. Oh. Out of five, one is two fifths of eighty. Thirty two. That is twice what we need, but I think this is okay. I just wish we had made all of this tint cover wire at the end so it didn't need three, six, nine, twelve extra machines per row. But oh well. We want to expand this even further. We probably do. So that means we either need another station here, or we need to somehow get twice as many belts into this one. But how would we go about that? We wouldn't. We would just make a new station. Do we have enough resources to make twice as much? Seems like we're only using half of the cover, and not even that. Same with this, same with that. So we should have enough. Maybe we need to bring another cover train. Who knows. But we can start with another output thing. We could also... ...do a robot output. As then we can just scale the robots. But let's try and keep it to belts for now. We made the effort to get here in the first place, so let's just honor that effort, I guess. Not waste the effort. And that gives me the opportunity to just redesign this a little bit, I think.
because if we just have flying machine here making tint cover wire oh we do need a bunch of tin into that of course but we're only making two belts here so 160 at least that's my plan no oh, that's 120 bad math one machine doing each of those the best way to do that just thinking how I can load stuff into these machines rather than inserting them We have less than 60 per second of that, less than 60 per second for that. Copper in there, tin in there. Output tin copper wire there. And then we just need a carbon belt. But then we actually have more belts than we did before. Because we just had half a belt of these before, now we have a full belt. But we could just have a half belt, but then how would we load? Could we do everything with an inserter still? I mean... 24 per second isn't that bad, is it? With a great angle? I'm not sure we want this here. We want it there. Can't really make a good angle like that though. Unless we take it from here maybe. And input the tin from there then. And then we have to transfer this somehow. That's a lot, so let's just use two inserters. Then we have carbon coming in here. Okay. I'd like to load this onto a belt. We do need 24 per second. Not sure if one inserter could do that for the output. Need two wells of output as well. I'm just gonna mark that. Input output or output output input input. That input is not really needed after here. Oh wait, it is because this goes on and then carbon. We could mix those belts though. Mm. Still gonna need that space though. So it doesn't matter if we just have two belts here or if we have a mixed belt that uses some of the space anyway. 
Whoops. Something like this, maybe. I would like this to not be here, because that takes up two tiles. The eternal attempt to optimize the space uses usage in the infinite map. Anyway, it's still going to be a lot better than it was up here, I think, because now we just need theoretically four machines here. Stuff. With a bunch of output. But I think we're just gonna double that. Side. Far side. Side, far side. Let's just. No, we do need to go under there. We can't. Do we need one more tile? I think we do. This will come in something like that. That's fine. I will need all of this space for input, which sucks for power. Hmm. How can we fix that? And why... Oh, this one took stuff from there. Let's not... Damn it. Do that. Let's just move this down a bit while we design all of this. Could move everything a little bit apart. Give ourselves some much needed space but also you move these insert us out one tile maybe I'll put onto the far side belt instead reverse or oh, invert these belts maybe so if we do this Swap which machine they take from, but that shouldn't be necessary. Far side. Side. Do the same thing over here. And then we're going to have power in here. Easy game. Easy life. I think that's okay. This is still a problem. We could... No, why is it a problem, actually? Just did that.
Why do I want these in the middle anyway? Why not have them at the sides? Have lotus in the middle. Does that actually make it more difficult to shift it in? It looks like it does. Not sure why that is. That seems counterintuitive to me. Because we actually didn't set up a new sort of here or what? No, we did. Okay. But this works, so we should probably stick to that. At least I think it works. I haven't really tested anything yet. Something like this should produce the same thing as this. If I do everything like I should. I'm just gonna align the end machine. even shorter. Still power. So carbon in here. Tin and carbon mixed here. Tennis right here. This new setup, we don't need this underground stuff, I guess. Which would be nice. Wait, this is in the way for this now. That sucks. Should move all of this down one time. This is in the way, but I mean, shouldn't I be okay doing this? Yes. Right now, I at least want to do it like that. Reaches producing stuff. That's almost surprising. Oh. Should be fixed.
This should be coming here now. Yes, good. And this shit up should just require less power and less beacons, right? And less resources in general. Construction resources at least. But that's good. Of course, without proper uh, modules, it's not really going to be fast enough. It's just pretty obvious with the output, but still. have small holes in these, so it is worse, I guess. But then we overbuild it to not need higher tier modules. I do like this a lot better. I do feel like that maybe we should just cut this stuff down. Steal some of these to make more of this. some of this down and replace it with the new setup just so we have more machines available that we need This takes too long, stop it. Come back. I should have removed most of this myself. This does fit in there, good. I should really get these up and running first. Before we focus on the rest. I guess we do need the robots for that. That's not easy. We're still gonna be out of beacons though. Also, we have way more than four beacons for each, so that's a thing. Then again, we're overbuilding it a little bit. This the first thing, first output, yes, good. Yeah. 
is this? Why? Oh, because that's not how it's supposed to be. That makes sense. Yes. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, good. This moves over. We don't do this anymore. That car one here. It's so much easier to build new stuff than try to replace old. But let's just how it is. We get this cub out of there. Good. Well, those are not even supposed to be this, which really just removed them. So difficult. You are not supposed to be there. These are supposed to be outputs. Power is supposed to come in here. These to be five long all the time now instead of four six four six. This almost fits to to level two. Ah, uh, that's not. Oh, what happened here? Ah, uh, one. Let's get it all out of the way first. How are we doing? This was the one they've set up from start. This is running. And it's a replacement. It's not running very well though. What are we missing? Nothing. And why are we not more full? Because of module stuff. We need better modules. Makes sense. But this looks better. No it doesn't. Never mind. Okay. Good do this. Good do this. No. Is that just not possible? Really? Oh well. We could do that. Shouldn't that be better in general? 
Shouldn't we get a better field built from this? Thing? No, maybe. It looked a little better for a bit, but I think that's just weirdness. Because it was at 120% extra speed, now it's only at 100% extra No, we had 60 to 100% extra speed. But it has higher productivity. 23% more output. With half the speed, maybe. Or half the speed boost. I think I'm going to do it anyway. This is running as well, good. This is running. Good. This is old. Will be replaced. And I learned from mistake that I should do this myself. power shortly but that's just how it is this is what we're at this. dang it This needs to go. is being used Oops, do that. well we don't really need that much so i'll wait with this until we have everything set up figure out how often we need to rebalance it this is correct everything is up here is gone so we should be able to down the stuff now. Can't we just do all of this? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now, should only use half a belt for each of these since we only put half a belt into it anyway. After each half, it should 
probably rebalance. Every two setups is what I'm trying to say. After two halves. And then we should probably move that and that. And that. Good. Now we will have a little bit extra since we have productivity modules, but I don't care right now. We need plenty of these. So three setups or oh, rebuilt. I don't really like that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Carbon twelve. So if there is five setups. We are using a belt. So this shouldn't continue after the three. Good. Why do we have so many bells without outputs at the moment? I'm bad. Oh, and we have more carbon apparently. Oh, and we have so much stuff here. That shouldn't be here. Hopefully that's not the case for earlier trains. I really don't hope so. No, that's it. But it shouldn't, right? This one at electronic circuits. Another one at electronic circuits. But I think I've been confused about this before, but we do have two trains giving them. Okay. And we don't see any foreign things here. Waiting here, waiting here. This one. Add advanced processing. Let's not have anything foreign. Good. Just get rid of that. And can we turn this around in here? No. We'll try to remember to turn those around then. But didn't use this, not the paste buffer. Was it turned around in there? This is the wrong way. Why is it not the wrong way out here then? Oh wait. Oh. I don't understand this. No mind. If it works, it works. We'll see if it works then. Three. 
And after three of these, so one, two, three, we need to rebalance. Two. We still haven't fixed the outputs, of course. Go away. Stupid artifacts. I just hope we have enough builds for this that awesome. Almost there. But of course replace some of these builds with underground if we wanted to. Is that not everything set up? It is. I think. Let's have a look in here for basic electronic component so this is from upgrading just the setup we had I think maybe maybe not probably not that's probably this honestly thought we would be getting more this escape a minute. It is a lot better than it was then. Oh, and it will be maybe even better if we do this. It will take up a lot of these though. Eight left. Should have more on the train though. I think. Yep, good. Now, I'm just curious what that had for an effect in here. I have to wait a little bit longer to actually see the effect, I think. With 16 belts, we should have a theoretical maximum of what? 360. Ah, no, 960. Sorry. I think. 5, 2. Yes. Per second. So per minute, 57,000. Do we get a little bit less than that? Yes. We are pretty dang close, though. So this, I think, is our productivity bump. That's nice. And that's just with tier 1s or zeros or whatever we call these. Tier 0. Good. Hopefully this fixes our basic electronic component problem. And it looks like it does, since well, we have one train here now. And we have two stations. They are filling up with almost full belts. So for now I'm gonna consider this problem fixed. 
then we can start thinking about the next problems. This looks like a problem. Why is that one thing less full than the others? I oh, because of this? Yes. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's just for the bus. And since we're only producing one belt anyway, it doesn't. It will be slow, of course. Okay. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.